Oh, a picket. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> Since Mama Moo announced that the next song that they'll be dropping is called Aya or Aye, however you pronounce it, all I can think of is <sighs> Twit. Aye, aye. Let's do this. Hello, my favorite people. So as you guys know, yesterday or the day before that, Mama Moo dropped a new concept photo for their new album, Travel. And whenever the actual photo for the album was dropped, I said, I don't know where they're going with this whole cheetah print symbol on a green album cover, but I knew it was gonna be something like egotistical. The photo I was actually supposed to upload today for Mama Moo was gonna be a reaction to the new concept photo where they're in like that safari cheetah print stuff. But bitch, I just got on YouTube and saw there's a new teaser. So now I'm gonna be reacting to both. <laughs> if you're a Moo Moo, this is the place for you. Subscribe, check out my playlist for Mama Moo. There's like hundreds of videos in there that you need to go catch up on. It documents the time that I discovered them, the time I fell in love with Moonbule, the time I became OT4, up until now. So if you wanna watch my process of becoming a Moo Moo, go check out the Mama Moo playlist. That's a lot of M's. Subscribe if you're new here, check out the second channel too, and I do a lot of content over there too. Like this video so I know you enjoyed it, and here we go. Into the concept photo and teaser for Mamma Moo Travel and Aya. Okay, I'm excited. All right, so we are on the official page of Mamma Moo's Twitter, and we can see that they're dropping 10th mini album. Can I just say, the fact that Mamma Moo has 10 mini albums, and on top of that, this, every single member from Mama Moo has gotten a solo now. They're not, Mama Moo is one of one. <sighs> the girls can't keep up. Anyways, let's get right into the concept photo. So, Aya, coming November 3rd. It reminds me of Daenerys Targaryen from Game of Thrones whenever she was with Khal Drogo and all them. You know, the little grounders, whatever you call them. Or is that the hundred? I don't know what I'm talking about. They just look very earthy, very gritty, very dangerous, and I love it. <sighs> Cause really that's what Mama Moo is to the whole K-pop industry. Dangerous, gritty, changing boundaries. Anyways, okay, Moonbule in a tiger top. Y'all were clowning me saying how M Moonbule isn't showing that much skin lately, but I think she is. How often do we get to see her shoulders? Thank you. Kim Young's son, yes. I love all the animal print. Look at Wayne's thigh. Muscles, Jesus Christ. Okay, her makeup too, beautiful, beautiful. Hwasa on Jin. She, she looks really good. She looks really good. The braids, the jacket, everything. I love the colors, the browns on the reds, the yellows, the golds. You know, sometimes with Mama Moo's stylist, it's always like, the members either don't match each other or there's like three out of the four members who match and then one of them just stands out. It's usually Hwasa who has an outfit that stands out compared to the rest. But for this concept photo, they all look very similar. So good job to the stylists. Good job to RBW. You won't catch me praising RBW often, but for this comeback, I have to give them props. They've, they've been killing it. So, okay, enough of that. Let's get right into the teaser now. Ah, uh, yeah. So, we were all right. We were speculating where the heck, why did Anhe Jin at the end of the Dinga music video, which Dinga was a bot, by the way, why is she coming out here wielding a sword on some, like, Mortal Kombat type stuff? And as we can see, it's transitioning now like a story into the Aya music video. So, that's cool. Tooth. Tooth. What the heck? Tooth? Why do the tombstones say tooth? <laughs> ah! Oh, pick it. Oh! I love a period drama. 
that's the concept. <sighs> Travel as a package is amazing. So it's not necessarily like, I don't know what I, what is this? Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones but K-pop. Game of Thrones but Mama Moo. Game of Thrones but better. Moonbule, Archery Queen. Bow and Arrow, what the heck is going on? Oh! Oh! oh. Moonbule. I'm sorry, I can't get over- look at the velvet. Look at the velvet. Ugh! The, the haircut too, just everything. It's like she's in battle. You can see all the arrows that have gone through and like not a single one hit her because she's a bad bitch. Or is she the one shooting them? I don't know, but she's still a bad bitch. And I like the lighting. RBW? This is RBW? Something's going on. Something's not right. This can't be RBW. You, you're really giving us a whole film for Aya with a story plot, like an out of this world story plot. Wean? I feel like there's like four kingdoms going to war against each other. Like this is a, this could actually be on Netflix and it's just a teaser. Why is this reaction so long? Oh my, I, I can't deal with this. Mumbio! Weenie! <sighs> My Twitter header has to change to this shot, period. Her, uh, young! And y'all hear the <laughs> in the background. Mama Moo? I really stand Mama Moo. Queens. How blessed I am. You're telling me a small company can produce this? You other hoes have no excuse for your dull, boring ass concepts. If RBW can do this, bitch, you need to do better. Young, Frida Kahlo unibrow. Did y'all see that? They gave my good sis a unibrow. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I love everything going on right now though. The corset, the extensions, the unibrow. Huh? <sighs> the scene uh, in Game of Thrones where Daenerys and Khal Drogo kill her brother with like the gold on his head inside like the, the ringleader room or whatever reminds me so much of this. And. <sighs> Aya, uh, bitch. Aya. Aya. I want it now. You see, the thing about me is, I'm always the one who stands the underdog in like period dramas like this. I keep saying it like this, it's a teaser. But I was uh, Team Daenerys Targaryen and Cersei for Game of Thrones. I was all for the the Dothraki. I stand them. I was all for what were what were the slave people um, from Miss Cindy and Grey Worm. I was I was standing them in the hundred. I was standing Lexa and the Grounders. So a concept like that is my is is my stuff. So Mama Moo now with Aya coming to do it. We had uh, Hwasa with the pickaxe. In a, in a graveyard of some sort, in like that wooden room or box. Pickaxe to pick out of the box. Okay, we need to talk about that in the comments. We can chip chat about that, what does that mean? She's in a wooden box with a pickaxe. I think she's gonna try to get out of it. Why did the tombstone say tooth? I don't know. We had Moonbule in her archery scene. What do we think the song's gonna sound like? So many thoughts going on in my brain, I can't cope. We in with like that white, 
as if she's like an angel or like very pure, pure outfit and like the hat with the fringe. Kim Young Sun and her unibrow. I still can't get over the unibrow. I got a tweet about that real quick. Let me end this video. I can't, I'm excited. I don't know really, I, ha I have to rewatch that teaser 10 times probably. Subscribe, bye.